Hello, today I'm going to demonstrate water in Algidoo. I'll start off by creating a bowl like this and I'll suspend it in springs and I'll press play. Now for the actual water just start by creating a shape, any shape and right clicking it selecting liquify. So there's our water. Let's pause now and create three balls. We want them to all to be equal size so I'll just clone this ball by dragging the clone button in the edit menu and now it's time to select materials we'll start off with stone then wood and finally helium and pressing play we'll see the helium flies off until I tether it the wood flows and the stone sinks and the explanation for this can be found in the material menu see the difference between the wood and the stone, which is important for this experiment, is the density. So water in Algidoo has a density of one kilogram per meter squared, while wood has something lower. And anything lower will float in water. And as you can see, the lower the density is, the higher it also floats. Let me move this so the tooltip don't get in the way. So something with 90, 95% of the density of water will have only about 5% above water. Or well, something with a lower density, like 10% uh, of water, will float with about 10% underwater. And similarly, if we make it heavier than, oh, sorry, lighter than air, it will float in the air and float away. At least until we turn off air completely. So that's water and the material menu in Algidoo. Thank you for watching.